Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Uh, if you remember, last week I shared with you how I created this mini journal and uh, three pages I uh, I designed while I was making it. I had so much fun that I couldn't resist and I bought uh, uh, Art by Marlene's new collection. This is the new mini art journal die and it's a square. Uh, and I'm going to show you now. There is another option as well uh, with a different design because this belongs to the Arabia collection. Uh, and all the designs uh, resemble uh, some Arab Arabic designs and architecture and uh, art. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, take it off and uh, create this uh, journal first with you. Apart from the uh, journal dies, there are several uh, other elements, other dies uh, in this collection uh, and I will show you how you can use them. Uh, so there is one die for the cover and there is one uh, for the pages and the cover one is slightly bigger uh, and there are very beautiful intricate designs that you can use uh, creating this journal or simply for some die cuts that would add a really good texture to your uh, pages. There are stars, some wheels and uh, beautiful windows. Uh, so I took my Sizzix machine and uh, actually my uh, cutting platform isn't as long as the die. But don't worry if yours is short as well. You can just uh, simply uh, swipe your uh, die and paper through the uh, platform on to the other side. And you can cut it where you left off so you have a full page. So it's really easy to adjust. See here I slide my platform to the other side of the journal which I couldn't cut before and I have a full page without any problems uh, as you see and uh, already it's uh, scored in the middle so it's very easy to close and there you go I have my, my first page. Uh, and uh, in, with the same way I cut the cover uh, which is slightly bigger than the pages and now I'm going to play with it a little bit and use the other elements to create some windows and um, nice additions so that I can play with it when I'm creating my journal. So I'm uh, putting this die to create a nice window in the cover uh, and I'm taking it through my die cutting machine again. You will see that it will create a beautiful window with intricate designs. I'm going to pop these pieces out for you to see the final design. Today we are going to <laughs> design 17 pages uh, on this journal. So uh, grab your coffee, tea, uh, food even uh, and be ready for a very long video. Uh, I thought to cut it in half but uh, then I said okay uh, you always appreciate longer videos and tell me to put longer videos. So there you go. Uh, I didn't cut it and uh, you can even uh, watch it uh, in different times. Uh, meanwhile, I also put another star die in the middle of that page. So I opened even another window uh, and uh, I used this uh, other die from the collection again, which gave me a window on a page and also this beautiful design. And I loved it so much that I cut another one of those. Uh, and I like this uh, uh, other chain uh, kind of uh, design a lot as well. I'm going to cut a few of those uh, just to have it uh, with me uh, so that I can see what I can do with it. I also made it a window uh, inside my journal as well. And I'm going to show you how beautiful uh, that design is. Look how intricate. So I'm going to show you before I paint what that looks like. See my windows in different places. And uh, I have a lot of pages. So we're going to do 17 pages. Uh, and I have my string, the elastic band uh, that I am going to use uh, to bring this together. There are holes already in the die. So you don't need to worry about it. I'm using black because uh, I'm the plan in my head is uh, the cover will be gold and black uh, so it will go well with my pages you can just put a, a 
bow there and uh, I'm going to add some metal embellishments as well so now I'm going to show you the rest of the uh, collection this is the die uh, booklet it's uh, amazing there are two pages of every design uh, so it's doubled uh, and there are uh, many beautiful things inside and also I got the uh, sticker uh, the sentiment booklet uh, which will be handy when I am designing my uh, art journal. Today I am going to use sprays uh, to uh, give color to all my pages. I am going to do that process first. For the cover I am using a, a new spray that I have. Medieval from Dina Wakely. Uh, and I love this color. It's from uh, her latest collection of sprays. And it's acrylic spray. And I complemented it with my Prima uh, Color Bloom spray in a tea stain and this tea stain color actually uh, gives uh, some goldish uh, shimmer uh, because uh, color bloom sprays uh, from Prima are uh, actually mica sprays so they all have some shimmer in them not a lot uh, just the right amount so I love them and they never clog actually uh, so in the first page I uh, mix these two colors for a really nice uh, dark uh, uh, cover with a bit of gold and I continue to use different colors for all the pages in this one I mixed uh, uh, two of new Dina sprays again sand color and some uh, uh, blue uh, and I added some other uh, vibrant blue as well I'm going to show all the colors on the screen before I use uh, I don't have a chance to put all of them down at the description area because it will take me ages uh, but uh, you can always stop the uh, video pause it and look what I am using uh, it will be very easy for you so in this one I'm mixing some uh, dark yellow uh, light green lime green and a nice uh, sky blue color you don't see it now but uh, all these uh, color bloom sprays are actually shimmery so they will have a teeny tiny bit of shimmer to them uh, when they dry after I spray I leave all my page uh, on the side to dry and I keep uh, creating other pages uh, I'm going to just uh, create uh, pages without thinking which uh, images I'm going to use I just mix a couple colors or three uh, nicely and then I will just wing it uh, as, I, as we go uh, I'm sure I will find matching uh, images easily because um, the pad is a very uh, the designs are very colorful and beautiful uh, so I created a red uh, dark orangish uh, page there and I'm going to mix some purples and uh, blues uh, or turquoise um, in this one it's really fun uh, to work on this journal because it was really easy to create uh, everything is ready uh, including the die cuts and uh, it was so much fun to spray it all uh, I'm going to also uh, spray the same colors at the back of this cover so the medieval and uh, the tea stain uh, this medieval color is really beautiful uh, I love it so much and uh, it will be really beautiful with uh, uh, gold combinations uh, now one side of my pages are dry and I'm going to move to the other sides uh, so the work doesn't, it didn't finish yet uh, now I'm going to do a little bit orange and uh, purple and uh, dark yellow uh, on this page uh, and to mix the colors better to for them to blend I make I'm spraying some water as well for the paper by the way I'm using a, a heavy cardstock that I had in my stash for ages uh, I just want to use whatever I have uh, actually it was made for uh, flower making uh, I looked at the texture it was a uh, very thick and textured uh, so I thought I could use it for art journaling as well and uh, luckily it takes water very nicely so it's very resistant and uh, gives a good result without uh, seeping through the other page uh, 
Uh, I wanted to have a different uh, texture on this one, so I let the colors uh, slide down. Uh, now uh, I forgot to uh, press the record on this one, but I'm going to show you the colors that I used. Uh, again, it's a very beautiful combination. So now, uh, finally, my journal is ready with the colors and I put them in some order uh, to show you. Uh, this is very beautiful with the gold details. Uh, and I wanted the red page to be just behind it to create a very nice contrast uh, and it will be a striking uh, look at the first. So let's uh, begin to create our pages. Uh, this is page one. I'm going to work on the cover first. First I'm going to uh, frame my pages with uh, applying uh, this archival ink uh, on the edges uh, so that I have darker edges uh, which will be a nice definition. After that I'm going to do some embossing with this beautiful intricate uh, stamp. I believe it's from Hero Arts and uh, I don't have the original packaging, it's an old stamp. You can use anything similar. Uh, I chose this because it's very intricate and it reminded me of these uh, Arabic designs. Uh, by the way, I lived in Dubai for a year. Uh, that's why I actually felt uh, very interested in this uh, collection. Uh, I always love uh, Marlene's designs anyway. Uh, but the fact that it was uh, Arabia uh, themed uh, I really wanted to have it and play with it because I feel uh, some sort of affinity. I have uh, really good friends still there. In the meantime, uh, for the uh, embossing powder not to stick everywhere, I used my uh, embossing pillow. Uh, if you uh, apply it before embossing, uh, it will really help you to keep this powder where it's supposed to be. I'm using my Versamark uh, to stamp my uh, image and I'm using a, a gold color from Ranger. I'm doing the same thing at the back of this cover too. Uh, I don't mind, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not so accurate or uh, concerned about where to stamp. Uh, I'm just trying to cover the corners and uh, have not a defined uh, image. Uh, you will see anyway uh, when I heat set uh, this uh, powder and it comes to life. It's so nice to see when you're applying the heat and the beautiful design comes to uh, life. Uh, and you see what's there actually with the beautiful gold. Uh, I really love it. It's very subtle but it's beautiful. Now I'm going to place the second page uh, with the red you see now they go really well and i'm going to put something in the middle there i went through the booklet and found this uh, butterfly that fits uh, perfectly inside i'm using my glue stick to just uh, simply uh, glue my image and i'm going around the edges with black uh, marker first and i did it for all the pieces that i'm going to use today i'm not going to show you every time but I did it for all so the white edges doesn't uh, bother me uh, and I decided to go around this uh, little opening, the star opening and embellish it with uh, gold uh, pearls there's a lot of gold in Arabic designs so uh, I'm just uh, sticking with that theme and uh, I really love uh, how my cover looks, it's very simple uh, yet uh, with the contrast and golds uh, it looks really nice you can see from the pictures uh, on the close-up too. Now I'm going to move on to the second page. Now I'm going to play with this red page that's going to show through the cover. So I'm going to do a different design, not like a usual uh, designing my uh, pages. Uh, I have this uh, uh, stencil from Prima. Uh, I thought the uh, design of it goes very well with a uh, uh, all the vibe of this uh, journal so far. So I'm going to use my embossing dabber to go through the stencil and I'm going to again uh, emboss it with gold and you will see how beautiful it will look through that window uh, when you close the uh, cover. Uh, I'm using my embossing dabber but uh, never mind uh, you can use Versamark as well over the stencil doesn't matter. 
Uh, again, I'm using the same color of gold from Ranger uh, to emboss this page. Uh, if your embossing powder sticks somewhere you don't want, uh, you can always use a dry brush to manipulate it or clean uh, the parts. I'm going to emboss again after I see uh, what I have done. Uh, the empty parts that I want to complete. Uh, until you are happy, you can do the same process and it doesn't need to be neat and tidy. Uh, this is just going to show uh, from the cover a little bit and I am going to uh, again frame it with black so that it looks like a, uh, like a nice uh, frame uh, going from black to red uh, and uh, to my butterfly as you see it's not neat at all but it's going to look fantastic when I put the cover and you will see here how beautiful it looks with all the embossing and here are the close-up pictures for you to see the beautiful gold details. And now I'm going to create the third page. Uh, I'm uh, having a, a few uh, texture stamps, background stamps on the side that I'm going to use uh, with all my pages. And this is one from Tim Holtz, uh, Bitty Grunge. Uh, it has many uh, little stamps, so it's going to be handy. Uh, when I want to give some interest at the background uh, or some borders so I use a bit of it with the red uh, archival ink and it has this stamp as well inside which looks like the light rays so I'm going to put this world uh, as a focal point and I'm going to uh, stamp with a color that is close to the background color and I will use my pit brush marker from Faber-Castell to extend these rays a little bit smudging with my finger uh, so that it looks like uh, the light is coming uh, from the earth uh, the world and I'm uh, going to stick all my images with my uh, glue stick sorry for the sun it's it just comes through the window but don't worry it's going to go soon um, it's a, a partly cloudy day so sometimes the sun comes uh, in between the clouds and I uh, stamped a little bit at the background with a star stamp from the same stamp set too I'm going to place a little bird uh, on my page these cutouts are all from uh, Marlene's Arabia uh, die cutting die cut uh, booklet and all my uh, sentiments uh, will be from her sticker set as well uh, and I'm going to put the links down below where you can find them uh, at least where I bought them uh, if they are I hope they are still available because Marlene's products just fly off the shelves um, and uh, this is my sentiment uh, stop to see the beauty uh, along the way uh, I thought it uh, goes with the uh, vibe of my page and I'm going to draw a little uh, uh, feed to my bird and I'm uh, framing everything with a black uh, thin uh, pan uh, so that it looks nice and neat and I'm using my white gel pen as well uh, to do the same uh, I will also uh, fill in some of the squares with the white uh, pen uh, I'm doing the highlights as well so that there is a little bit uh, highlights and uh, pop on my uh, booklet um, I'm using this Posca uh, marker this has acrylic color in it so it's very opaque and nice and the tip is bigger uh, so it takes uh, uh, much less time to uh, do the job uh, it's uh, 1M the tip of it uh, so that's how you can find it as you see this brought uh, a lot more uh, vibrancy to the page and I'm doing my white splashes as a closing touch uh, and for that I used my Dina Wakely white, uh, white spray uh, because it's acrylic spray it's going to uh, dry opaque uh, so uh, and uh, of course I'm doing my edges the black edges uh, to have a nice definition uh, on the corners and here are the close-up pictures for you to see the page uh, by the way you can see all the pictures and actually have sneak peeks before, before I post my videos over my Instagram page so head over there uh, to this address if you're not following me yet 
Also, you will be able to see all the pictures from this uh, video as well. Uh, so, I have this uh, little uh, opening here. Uh, so, I need to think first uh, what page is coming after it. And uh, I wanted to place this little birdie, which is so cute. I had to use one of those birds for sure. Uh, and uh, because it has a uh, green details as well, it makes a nice contrast with my red page and it has some red on it too. So it goes perfectly like it's looking through the window. And uh, I wanted to cover the page with some uh, stenciling with a modeling paste. And I found this stencil in my stash which has whimsical clouds and stars and the moon. Uh, so I thought it goes really well. Uh, with this bird uh, which is very whimsical too uh, and I'm just using my um, light modeling paste from Liquitex which is my favorite through my stencil uh, and uh, when it's dry uh, I will just uh, use my gelatos in uh, blue and yellow like green yellow um, to go over these uh, clouds and give some color uh, which will create a nice contrast with the uh, with the red on the background and also uh, it will uh, complement the uh, it will go very well uh, in harmony with the bird that you will see inside um, so that's a trick uh, and uh, I waited I air dried it put it on the side uh, and uh, it's completely dry and hard now with a nice raised texture and uh, I used my gelatos uh, spreading it with my finger which is very creamy uh, and you can see the close-up pictures now uh, all this design goes uh, all together very well now that we have the owl here uh, let's continue with this page uh, I'm going to just uh, create a border first this is a border stamp set from Limor Weber um, I don't remember the name or where I got it because I have it for years uh, but uh, there are uh, honeycombs uh, on this one so it's pretty easy to find uh, I'm just using my archi archival black ink and uh, this is a, also a background stamp set from Viva Decor uh, I bought it from Amazon um, and uh, there are many different designs on it again I'm going to use this splash uh, design and to use a, a green uh, ink from Memento. This is also, also permanent when it dries. So I'm not going to have problems with smudging. Um, just to give some interest at the background, uh, I have this dark cocoa color from Memento again. Um, so I'm going to go around the edges to darken them up. Um, you can use whatever stamps you have to use at the borders or uh, background stamping. Uh, what is important is to give some visual interest uh, on the page. Uh, I'm just uh, also doodling a little bit uh, and making uh, some uh, honeycombs uh, white uh, so that there is a little bit brightness coming through the page as well. Uh, also harmonize it uh, because there are other white elements uh, and my sentiment is from the booklet and it's pretty long with a white background it says find magic in the small everyday things this is something I believe a lot um, rather than running after future big goals uh, we shouldn't forget uh, to look at around and uh, the things that we actually have so it's a good reminder to have it on an art journal uh, I am also uh, because it says magic I am I have the Aladdin's uh, lamp uh, and I'm going to pretend there is smoke uh, coming out of it uh, linking this uh, linking it to the uh, moon and star hanging uh, from the sky I'm going around everything with my black pen as well uh, to separate them from the background and I'm going to draw this uh, imaginary sm uh, smoke uh, and uh, I'm going to color uh, the in-betweens with white again uh, I'm reaching out for my uh, thicker pen to make things easier 
Uh, also, the background is glossy, so it's not so easy to work with the gel pen. This works so much better. And because this white uh, sentiment is uh, quite dominant, I wanted to have other white elements too. So I'm just doodling around with this pen, which is really easy. Just uh, drawing some droplets here and there. And again, going around all my elements to be able to separate them from the background. And I think I will be done with the page. And here are the close-up photos for you to see the result. And after this, we are moving on to our sixth page, which will be a double spread. And from the beginning, it was in my mind to make it a desert uh, scene. So that's why I sprayed the blue as the sky and the sand color as the desert. Uh, I have my eye on these uh, very cute camels from the beginning. But I think this will be too big, so I'm going to go with the smaller sizes. I will also get some of these... Uh, buildings, uh, houses uh, that are typical uh, in uh, Arabic uh, architecture uh, and beautiful uh, and uh, also these palm trees uh, in the desert. Uh, so I'm just uh, trying to create some scenery. Uh, before I start again to give a little bit interest at the background I have this crackle stamp with my sepia archival color I'm just going to stamp it on the background uh, not so strong just to have something at the back and I thought sometimes it was too strong uh, this color I didn't want to lose that sand color so I'm going over it with my baby wipe to soften it and uh, I'm taking a piece of Tim Holtz uh, Bitty Grunge stamp set. And because these uh, uh, are circles and attached to each other, actually they look like uh, clouds. So I was like, why not make it uh, our clouds in the sky? And I'm going to give uh, some white details with my gel pen to make them stand out and look even more like uh, clouds and play with them a little bit. And I really like this look, uh, it's whimsical, uh, so uh, I hope it gives you an idea, actually your stamps can be more than uh, what they are. Uh, so after uh, I play with my clouds, uh, I'm going to stick all my elements down, uh, I'm going to uh, stick the buildings on one side and the camels on the other, as if the uh, camels are traveling home uh, through the uh, houses. Uh, so I'm going to stick a, a palm tree here and add the other houses uh, here uh, with the composition. And why not add a butterfly? So I'm going to add this butterfly too. I'm obsessed with those butterflies actually. The colors are so vibrant that I want to put them everywhere. And uh, finally my sentiment is, uh, and so the adventure begins, uh, as if they are going somewhere. Uh, or home, uh, a new home in my imagination, so they will have an adventure. Uh, as usual, I'm just going around it with my black pen and I'm going to do some shading around my elements. Um, this is my brown uh, pit brush marker. Uh, since the background is acrylic, I can easily move it. So I'm giving a little bit shadowing and a ground for them to stand. Uh, and you will see there will be much more depth on the page and uh, also it will look more realistic. And finally I'm going to go around the edges with my dark brown ink and cut the excess of uh, all the elements. Uh, this will also give uh, like the uh, story or the uh, scenery is going off the page so it has a continuity uh, which is something I really love uh, on art journaling. Um, or even in photos, uh, I like to leave some part outside. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is there's a, a sign that says home. I'm going to stick that one and a flower next to this house uh, to make it more interesting. And finally, I'm going to do my white splashes and call this double spread done. This will be in the middle of my uh, art journal. Uh, so when you flick through it, uh, it will be the middle. And here are the close-up pictures uh, of the pages. 
I hope you enjoy it. I really love the colors and how vibrant it is. And after this, I'm going to uh, go on with the uh, page seven. So here is page seven. Uh, on this one, I thought uh, I could use these beautiful um, die cuts, uh, very intricate. I am going to give color to them using the inks. Uh, first, uh, the uh, dark cocoa, uh, and then uh, I will also use the black uh, to make it uh, more visible. So reaching out for these butterflies again, uh, I absolutely love their colors and it goes with most backgrounds anyway. And I thought this uh, this girl uh, with a big skirt uh, displaying the uh, houses of Arabia uh, looks perfect as well. Uh, for the background, I decided to uh, do some gold uh, details with these stars. Uh, so I took a stencil out of my stash. This is Crafter's Workshop. And I'm just uh, going over it with my gold paint from Arteza. Uh, and I'm going to do some gold splashes as well. Uh, this page had gold shimmer on it anyway. So it uh, really looks nice. I know from the camera it doesn't look... Uh, it doesn't show a lot but in uh, in reality the stars are uh, shining really nice with the gold uh, and you will see from the pictures uh, so i'm going to stick my girl in the middle and i'm going to uh, also glue the embellishments uh, of the page and i'm going to place the butterflies inside them Again the usuals, I'm going to go around uh, the images with my black pen uh, to make it stand out from the background uh, and uh, also I'm going to give a nice uh, darker uh, border using my pit brush marker in walnut brown. Uh, I can easily smudge it with my finger uh, going over the edges. And since I have a lot of brown details on the page, I want to do some uh, brown splashes too. Uh, it works perfectly with my uh, marker because this is Indian ink. And if I water it down, I can also do some splashes, uh, which is so easy. And finally, I'm sticking down the sentiment. Your life is not yours if you worry what others think. Uh, I think it's a really nice uh, sentiment. You will see from the photos that I went uh, around them. I did a little bit uh, sketching with my white uh, gel pen and I also went around them with my black marker as usual. Uh, and from here you can also see how uh, gold uh, stars are shining too. So let's move on to page 8 if you are still here. So for this one uh, I removed one of the backings of the die cuts. Uh, that was a frame, beautiful frame, which I'm going to use later. And uh, I thought the colors were uh, matching the page at the front. So I'm going to stick it behind this uh, opening. And uh, you will see this uh, flower and the elephant go perfectly with the colors of the page. So I'm going to use these two as if the flower is coming out of the uh, cute elephant. But before that, I'm going to do some background uh, work to add more interest. So I took my uh, purple Arteza paint and with a sponge, I'm going uh, over this stencil to uh, do these details, uh, which looks really nice. And after that, I'm going to uh, stick down my elephant and my flower. Sometimes I like to uh, use the same colors as the background to create a, a full harmony. Uh, but sometimes I like to create contrast using opposite colors. So whichever uh, you choose, uh, it looks nice. Uh, and I'm uh, to differentiate these uh, images from the background. Uh, I'm going around them with my black pen uh, as usual. Uh, and also for the elephant too and there are other ways to differentiate your images uh, always you could do shading around them or uh, uh, you could use a white marker here uh, I want to make this uh, shape behind the flower more prominent so I'm just uh, going around the edges with my white marker uh, I will also do the highlights uh, with that 
and to darken up the edges and give a border I'm using a purple gelato uh, to easily smudge with my finger you could use the paint uh, as well or uh, markers uh, whatever is uh, easy for you and I'm going to do some white splashes to lighten it up a bit and add uh, some energy uh, sorry by the way the lighting keeps changing because I journaled for a long time uh, from daytime to nighttime and uh, daytime again so it took me all the weekend uh, that's why you're seeing different different lights uh, and finally I am going around the sentiment shake the world in a gentle way with patience uh, things get better uh, I use two different sentiments uh, and these things uh, symbolize the elephant for me and I also wanted to draw a sketchy uh, border all around my page here are the close-up photos before we move to page 9 so for page 9 uh, I'm going to uh, design the page uh, just before the last uh, just before the cover so inside the cover uh, and uh, I was really obsessed with these embellishments uh, so I'm going to use them uh, I will do some embossing first uh, I'm again uh, using my uh, powder uh, pillow uh, to go around the page so that my uh, embossing powder doesn't stick anywhere else and I'm using a script stamp this is from Stamperia and I thought this was the closest one which looked like Arabic to me uh, that's why I'm using it but you can use any script stamp or any other stamp that you want to use and if you have a powder sticking somewhere you don't want you can always manipulate it with a brush so this is how it looks after I uh, heat set it with a gold emb embossing powder uh, and I'm going to darken up the edges uh, as usual with black uh, again I'm going with a gold theme here and I love this flower uh, since the beginning I knew I was going to use it so I'm going to uh, stick these embellishments uh, like that and I'm going to uh, glue the flower right in the middle. I think it will look really nice. Today I'm using a glue stick and I, it's so comfortable. I didn't want to deal with the um, wetness of the uh, matte medium but you can use anything. doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to stick the flower in the middle and it stands out so nicely with its colors uh, with the muted colors that we see at the background and it goes really well with the golds as well I'll just cut out uh, the excess uh, parts of these uh, embellishments so that it looks like it's going off the page uh, which is uh, really nice and uh, I'm going to again uh, put some uh, gold pearls in the middle of these in the centers of these uh, shapes uh, and I think it will look really nice uh, with the gold uh, shining at the back as well with the script and I uh, stick uh, and I put born to create in the middle uh, it's like a, the statement of this uh, art journal uh, and uh, it's one of my favorite pages uh, I created here so let's move on to page 10 so I'm going to now uh, create the other page uh, with these uh, same colors and I found this uh, dragonfly in the uh, booklet again so I uh, glued it in the middle uh, also you will see that uh, it it will have a it will peek through a, another window uh, that I created so I needed something in the middle to show nicely on the other page uh, and uh, I found this stencil in my stash which has buildings, city uh, landscape on it. Uh, I thought it would look nice to have the, these uh, silhouettes in black. So I uh, went through it with my black ink, archival ink. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm going to also uh, do some stamping in black since there is a big uh, black block uh, on the page. This is again from the Steam Holtz uh, background stamps. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Uh, uh, goes with the vibe uh, and theme of the page. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to do some uh, black splashes so that everything comes together. 
So this is the uh, page that will be in front of that. So dragonfly looks really nice. Uh, but I don't want the sentiment, the sentiment uh, in the middle. So I'm going to uh, stick it a little bit on top. Uh, we only see the dragonfly. And the stand tall, I think, uh, goes really well with all these buildings, uh, skyscrapers uh, standing very tall uh, with the dragonfly over them. I'm doing the highlights over the buildings and the dragonfly and uh, doing all the usual stuff that I was doing. Uh, and also I thought it would be nice to have some white splashes too. And uh, now I'm done with the page. Here are some close-up photos for you to see it uh, uh, better. And now page 11. Uh, and uh, for this uh, I'm going to design this uh, page with uh, lighter colors uh, and for the background I took another Tim Holtz stamp that uh, that has some background texture on it and this is a canvas texture. I'm using a darker green color to just uh, stamp it here and there. Uh, it's very subtle at the back so it's hard to see with the camera but it's there. And I decided to use the wire one as well uh, with the, another uh, green color, uh, darker. Uh, and uh, using this uh, I'm going to create a border. It's like uh, some splashes dots uh, from the Viva Decor uh, collection. And I'm going to create a black uh, border with it. And not all over but uh, most of it and it looks really nice. I wanted a sharp contrast for this uh, page uh, and you will see the uh, the focal point I'm using uh, will also create a nice contrast since the background is very light uh, you have the opportunity to, to really make a page that pops with vibrancy and to increase the contrast I'm going to also splash uh, with a little bit black paint uh, all over my page and after that I'm going to work on my focal point. Uh, this uh, girl is really really beautiful. So I wanted to use it on this page uh, so that she pops a lot with this contrast of uh, green and uh, red. And I'm going to use these flowers uh, matching her hair color. Uh, I will also cut a part of it because uh, I want it again off the page. Uh, and uh, I'm going to stick them down on my page. I'm now drawing the stem and the leaves with my black marker and I will uh, stick uh, the sentiment which is get quiet and listen the answers will come which again suits really well to this page and you can see the close-up pictures here I also did some highlights and uh, went uh, around my images with my black pen like I always did so let's move on to uh, page 12 uh, I never imagined I would make such a long video but here we are. Um, for this page uh, I actually wanted to uh, darken it up more because I didn't want two pages with the same colors. Uh, so I decided to use my uh, walnut stain distress oxide and the rich cocoa uh, color from Memento uh, to darken uh, the color of the page uh, much more. As I use more and more brown, the, these two pages become really different. Uh, and uh, I'm also not losing the beautiful green at the back because I'm using uh, ink. Uh, so it's transparent. Uh, and uh, I chose this uh, girl uh, as uh, my uh, focal point. It uh, nicely covers uh, half of the page. Uh, and I'm just uh, again using my uh, glue stick to just stick it down. Uh, I really love her hair and uh, I found a sentiment that matches uh, her uh, hair uh, really nicely. Uh, confetti in my hair uh, but I don't care. I think it's so creative and so nice this sentiment and it uh, fits this girl perfectly. Uh, to add the quirkiness of this uh, sentiment I'm also going to use this dots uh, stamp from the Tim Holtz background stamps and uh, cover the rest of my page and it makes it I think more whimsical uh, it adds to the uh, theme of the page 
Uh, and I will go around all my uh, images and sentiment with the black marker to separate them from the background as I did always. And I am going uh, all around to add some highlights with my white gel pen. And I decided uh, I want to add some uh, white dots in the middle of those dots. Uh, you will see that how it brought everything together. And I am darkening up the edges as usual. Uh, final uh, thing is to do some splashes with the white. With this more or less common treatments, actually uh, you have some harmony between all the pages of this journal. Uh, it makes them uh, come together as a book. And with this little heart which matches the girl's uh, hair and the flower, it's a little touch that adds a very nice balance to the page. Uh, you see that makes a difference. So let's move on to uh, next page, which is page 30. Remember I had this uh, cutout uh, sticking there. So I'm going to take advantage of it and make, uh, make it prominent and use it as a design. I'm going to color it with a turquoise ink, uh, which will go really nicely with this beautiful uh, architectural building. Uh, but before I stick it down, I'm going to make this part, uh, this paper, more interesting. And I'm going to do some gold embossing uh, on that paper. Again, I'm using my powder below so that the embossing powder doesn't go everywhere. And uh, I'm going to just use my Versamark to stamp this script stamp that I love. So I'm going to just uh, stamp with my Versamark over this uh, piece of paper and I'm going to use the same gold embossing powder that I used all the time and then he set, heat set it. Now after doing this step uh, I'm going to also take a, a similar color, uh, a turquoise color, actually teal. Uh, from my stash archival ink and I'm going to make this paper a little bit darker uh, so that it's more prominent behind this. Also I decided to use the sepia ink to uh, stamp all over the page with this script stamp uh, to create some harmony between this paper and the rest. I will stick down my palettes and then uh, I'm going to stick down the sentiments uh, from the sticker booklet. It says be fearless uh, in your pursuit of happiness. Again I'm doing the same things that I did all day. Uh, I'm also drawing some black lines uh, around everything to make them pop out from the background. And I'm adding a little bit brown on this paper as well just to merge a little bit uh, better. I'll give a black border uh, all around with my archival ink again. And I will do some splashes with the black as well. As you see, repeating the same things over and over again uh, makes all these pages uh, look like they belong to the same group, more or less. Uh, and I'm doing some gold splashes too with my gold ink. And I decided to add another sentiment at the bottom too. Find your song and sing it. Uh, and I'm doing the f finishing touches with a uh, white highlight. And again I will use the same heart uh, to create this uh, uh, unity and bring everything together, create this balance. Uh, and I will stick it at the top of this uh, palace. As you see it, it looks really nice all together with the colors. Uh, and these are the close-up pictures for you to see. So count on three to the last page, page 14. Uh, I really love these uh, colors. So I'm starting with uh, some background stamping with uh, purple uh, from Archival again. Uh, and I'm using again one of the background stamps that I have. Uh, and you can use whatever you have as I said before. Uh, I'm just stamping lightly to create some interest at the back. I also took another one from again uh, Tim Holtz uh, Bitty Grunge and I'm using uh, the rich cocoa uh, to create some kind of border with these uh, squares uh, and this is my focal point which is my fav one of my favorite images in the uh, whole collection. 
and here is my uh, one of my favorite stencils as well from Tim Holtz I use this again and again because I love these rays and uh, I combine this with the images as if uh, there is a rays coming out of them and since this is the moon uh, or sun <laughs> whichever it is uh, it's uh, I want to create some rays as if it's coming from them and uh, uh, I used uh, dark orange to do that and I found these uh, uh, papers uh, in my stash uh, and uh, I thought it uh, the colors match perfectly for this page so I'm going to create some background uh, image for my uh, sentiment which will be white uh, background so I'm cutting a couple of pieces I'll just glue them down on the page uh, behind my sentiment in a way that it will create a base I'm using my glue stick again and uh, I don't mind if uh, I cut it uh, very straight or not doesn't matter uh, I'll just glue them on top of each other and cut the excess uh, then uh, you will see that uh, I will bring my sentiment and my sentiment goes perfectly with the page dance with the fairies and uh, talk to the moon uh, so uh, it goes with the moon that I have on the page I also glued down some stars in uh, orange and yellow color from again the die, uh, die cut booklet uh, there are some stars, hearts uh, and uh, other flowers uh, that are little uh, that you can use to complete your pages and I am doing some white splashes uh, to give some energy and uh, bring everything together uh, I'm using my dark uh, brown ink to go around the edges uh, and uh, give some definition to my page. After that uh, I decided to take my diamond stickers which is transparent color actually uh, to go uh, over my uh, stars to make them shine and I will also uh, make some droplets here and there over the page uh, to create some uh, interest uh, all over. And here are the close-up pictures for you to see the details uh, also how the stickers are shining countdown to uh, last uh, pages uh, this is page 15 uh, I'm just uh, going to uh, create this uh, other red page and I took a, another stencil from my stash this is one of my favorite stencils as well uh, and I cut it myself with my silhouette machine so I don't have a brand for it um, I use my digital cutter uh, to sometimes uh, have stencil cut st stencils like this with the ready designs I find there uh, and I'm going to create a nice border because I want to use this frame uh, which is again a favorite from the collection I think it's so beautiful and vibrant uh, and I'm going to uh, just stick it in the middle um, and you will see that the black parts will be uh, just around this uh, beautiful frame and I'm going to cut the excess I took this lamp uh, from the uh, booklet as well and I'm going to stick it in the middle as if it's hanging uh, inside uh, and I have a couple of flowers uh, uh, to stick on each side uh, and it looks uh, super cute because the flower is also in the uh, frame as you see bring everything together I'm going to do black splashes just inside this frame so I'm trying to protect my uh, lamp that is hanging uh, just uh, trying to splash inside so it comes together with all the black that I made uh, on the outside and of course I'm going to bring back my black ink to uh, just uh, frame it uh, on at the very edges uh, again uh, as you see I'm repeating the same things so all the booklet actually have some common uh, commonalities uh, to make it look like uh, they belong to the same project and my uh, sentiment is perfect keep looking where the light pours in with this lamp hanging uh, from the window I'm going to uh, frame everything with my black pad uh, also do my highlights with the white uh, white pad 
As a final touch, I'm going to uh, do some white splashes. I really love this page because all these uh, main colors, white, black, blue, red and yellow, uh, all contrast each other and it's, uh, it creates a really striking look, uh, which I love. And here are some close-up pictures for you to see the details. Page 16, hang in there, <laughs> we're almost at the end. Um, uh, so on this page uh, I chose uh, one of these uh, cute ladies uh, that Marlene has and uh, I'm going to glue it right in the middle. Uh, I have a nice plan for it uh, and uh, on top of it um, I'm going to draw uh, this shape like a rope is hanging and I'm going to uh, draw some flags on it. So it's like a kind of celebration or a circus uh, going on there. After that I am bringing my acrylic markers. These are from Posca, Uniposca. And I am going to use the same colors uh, matching uh, the girl's uh, hair and dress. Uh, the red, uh, green and blue. Uh, to color these flags so that everything comes together and there's a balance on my page and to add to this circusy look and feel I'm going to bring my uh, circles uh, background stamp from Tim Holtz collection and I'm using an orange ink uh, to just stamp here and there and I'm using one of my border stamps from Limor Weber uh, just to go around the uh, page to create some kind of fun border. This look like, looks like stitches. And I'm going to stick three little cute uh, birds from the collection again on this rope. So that was always my plan. And uh, it looks like one of the birds are look, uh, is looking down uh, to this girl. Uh, so it looks uh, really nice all together. And my sentiment is create your own musical world so it all came together really nicely uh, all uh, beautiful and colorful final touches my black uh, border and my black splashes of course again i'm going to go around all these elements with my black marker black pen uh, and use my uh, white gel pen for all these highlights and details and here are the close-up pictures uh, for you to see uh, how vibrant and joyful it is uh, with all the colors and uh, these beautiful designs. And uh, finally, uh, we are uh, on uh, page 17, the last page, uh, which will uh, be an open window uh, that will have the dragonfly in it, if you remember. First of all, I wanted to have a little bit more vibrancy on this page, so I'm just inking it up a little bit more with some turquoise and purples. And I made all the edges uh, darken up with purple this time, uh, so that the dragonfly uh, can stand out uh, when I close the page. And I'm also doing some purple splashes with my acrylic paint. And by the way, this page had the same colors as the ones that you see next to it, the light green ones. But I changed it uh, afterwards. I just sprayed these three colors that I sh uh, showed you uh, because I wanted uh, it to match this dragonfly that I used uh, in the middle uh, when I closed the page. You will see what I mean in a minute. And I'm using this stencil. Here we go. The dragonfly comes when the pages go one after another. I used the stencil that was a sun rays. Uh, it's from Stamperia. Uh, as if uh, uh, this dragonfly is uh, giving uh, sunshine. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use my uh, stickles in turquoise color uh, to go through some of the rays uh, to give some shine to it. And uh, my uh, sentiment is shine brighter than uh, ever, uh, which again uh, goes with the design that I created. Uh, and with this, uh, I'm going to do my uh, usual frame again, uh, go around it with black as well. And uh, you will see the close-up picture to see the details and how uh, stickers uh, are shining. 
And let's have a look at the finished journal. I'm so excited uh, that I finished a full journal in two days. Uh, this uh, cover is amazing. I love it. I put the uh, elastic band and attached some uh, hearts and a peacock uh, that would go with the uh, gold details. When I open it, uh, this page is amazing with the uh, embossing. And I have these two girls next to each other uh, sitting really nicely. And then uh, I have this uh, uh, red page, the elephant. They're all colorful and nice. Uh, our palace <laughs> that looks uh, nice. And then this moon girl uh, with orange. And uh, the double page, as you see, is sitting in the middle. So that we can see it all. That's why I wanted to do this page, a uh, double page with the scenery. And here is uh, the whimsical world and uh, other girl with the beautiful butterflies, the uh, dragonfly. And now you will see how uh, the page closes and the designs go together. As you saw, it's the same with the bird. And uh, I love these pages uh, full of uh, bright colors and the beautiful gold embossing. And there are pearls here as well. And then the journal closes with the same gold embossing. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so long. Uh, but I had so much fun that uh, I didn't want to cut anything and I wanted you to watch the whole process. Let me know what you think about the video. Uh, if you want to see more of these full art journal, mini art journal formats, uh, let me know and I will consider doing this. Uh, of course it was a lot of work but at the same time it was a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed uh, this long video as well, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you know when I'm posting new videos. Thanks so much for watching if you're still here. Uh, enjoy the pictures and see you next time.